Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Sephora haul. And yes, I am doing this haul before the Sephora sale because this is everything I've picked up since my last haul. And that's how I like to work it on my channel. And I wanted to do a separate Sephora sale haul for you. So this is all the things since that last Sephora haul. And I will update you in about a month's time. However, I'm gonna combine this haul with my Sephora sale haul when I do my update. So it's gonna be a huge update <laughs> because I plan on purchasing a little bit during the Sephora sale as we do. And of course my recommendations video will be coming up after this video as well. So thank you guys so much for clicking on my video and spending some time with me today. I am wearing several of the products today in case you're curious of my makeup and I will share those throughout the video. We do have a little surprise in this video, so stay tuned and let's jump into the Sephora haul. I wasn't gonna do it and then I did it and here we are. So I end up purchasing the Hourglass Lighting Edit Unlocked palette, the leopard one. Initially when these launched on Hourglass, I passed and I waited for Sephora to get these and I ended up going ahead and purchasing this from Sephora and I'm so happy I did. I'm wearing this today. This is a favorite of mine. I love this sort of formula. You already know I love to bake formula and I really love my Sephora collection palette, but I did want an hourglass one. I love the leopard design of this and I'm just a huge fan of hourglass. Here's what the inside looks like of the leopard. It's good for light to medium skin tones. I really like the design of the jellyfish one that was geared towards more fair skin tones. And I know on the actual hourglass website, you can customize the palette to get whatever insert with whatever packaging. I just waited for Sephora myself. As I said, I'm wearing this today. I love the bronzer. I showed this in full in a trying new makeup if you wanna go check it out. That look is one of my favorite looks <laughs> I've done recently. The skin is so ethereal as well as the eyes. Everything is just such a beautiful finish to it and I just felt complimented for this palette. It finishes a makeup look. That's what it is. To me, it's a finishing palette. I know in that video I used it strictly on its own, but I do like to top this over top of some cream products. Just to add that little bit of an extra special glaze to the skin, I feel like this is. It's like a glaze. You can have a bronze glaze, a blush glaze, some highlight glaze. Like this is a glazing palette to me, but so flattering on the skin. I think it looks beautiful. I'm always worried with certain kinds of glowy products that it's gonna emphasize my texture, but I don't feel like that does in this particular palette. I think it's really flattering on the skin. So I'm so happy that I picked that up. And then I wanna say like two weeks later, Hourglass sent me a PR package. It was the first time I've ever received anything from Hourglass. And I was so excited. I opened it up and lo and behold, we have another palette here. Because I have an extra palette now, I thought, you know what? Let's give it away in this video. If you wanna win this Hourglass palette, all you have to do is be a subscriber of my channel and leave a comment down below, keeping it nice and simple for you guys. So good luck if you're entering this giveaway for this palette. I'm just so thankful for you guys and I just wanna let you know I love you so, so much. And I hope you enter this giveaway and it's such a fantastic palette. I think one of you is really gonna love it who wins it. And I'm just so appreciative of Hourglass for sending me a package. I just wanted to give that love back to you guys because I love you so much. So I hope you enjoy the palette, whoever wins it. And we're gonna move on to the rest of the products in this video, but that was my little surprise for today's video and I hope you enjoy it. Another palette that I picked up that I did a review on is this palette from Patrick Ta. It's his holiday face palette this year. And I've picked up the previous two years as well. And this one is quite a bit different than the past two years. He always switches it up slightly. This one was the biggest change. And we have the packaging change. As you can see, it's this beautiful pink that does get the marks on it. It's just the reflective nature of it. And inside, this is so stunning. The pinks are actually different from the pinks that I have in my collection from Patrick Ta. I know pink blush is overwhelming the market right now. And initially I wasn't gonna buy this because I felt like I just did not need it. I love the eyeshadows. I wish this would have been a palette of eyeshadows. I love these as toppers on their own. They are so stunning. I use them all 
in my review of this palette. So definitely go check it out if you're interested, but I think it's worth it for these eyeshadows and for the price point of two blushes with both a cream and a corresponding powder. I just think this is a really good palette to get and hopefully it's in stock for the Sephora sale, but I think it might've sold out. I'm not sure, I'll have to go back and check, but I think it's worth it. It's so pretty. As I said, I did a full dedicated review on that palette because it is so gorgeous and I'm so happy I decided to get it. Later on the Sephora website, then the gloss came. So it didn't launch at the same time as the palette, unfortunately. So I did pick this up after, so it couldn't be in that dedicated video, but I've been wearing this so much. It is the Major Holiday Plumping Gloss in Headliner. It is this beautiful pink shade and I just think finishes off a look so well. I love how these smell too. These kind of have this cinnamon type of yummy fruity smell. It's hard to describe, but I have the red one, which I think is called Full Syringe, and I'm such a huge fan of it, that when I saw this pink one come out, I wanted this more than even the palette. That's how much I wanted this gloss. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy I got my hands on it. Highly, highly recommend this. If you can get your hands on it as well, it's really pretty. And then I saw this on TikTok, Instagram. I was seeing so many people use this and I was sold. It is from Refai. Initially I was gonna pick this formula up because Refai is so hit and miss with me and I thought this was gonna be a miss. However, I really like this. And it is the Lip Blush in Orchid. I got the shade Orchid. You can use this on your cheeks or your lips, hence why it's called Lip Blush. Just makes sense. Plus it has that really smooth look to the lips when you add it for a lip product. You can blot it out or you can build it up. It is a really pretty formula. I do much prefer this as a lip color, like much <laughs> prefer this as opposed to the cheek, just because it is on the drier side, I feel like for my cheeks, but on my lips, the smoothing quality of it, I feel like it's just beautiful. I love the color. It has that powdery soft sort of finish that it looks just like a powder lipstick. It's really pretty and I do prefer it blotted out that color as opposed to built up. I just think it's so natural and beautiful and I've been wearing it so much on my lips. I think I'm getting sick, please. No, I've been fighting it for weeks. I do still use this on my cheeks. I just much prefer it as a lip product. So really like this as well. And then Sephora had 50% off eyebrow pencils, certain brands, because last year I remember getting Refi and stocking up then. And this year for National Brow Day, they did have the Huda Beauty ones. And I do like these, they do break easily in my experience, but I really like the color of this, I remember. So I decided to pick this up because this is, my favorite one of the ones they carried for 50% off on National Brow Day. So I got two of the Huda Beauty, the Micro Shade Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. Really like this for my hair color right now and I love how thin the pencil is. Really gotta be careful. Even if you roll these up very lightly, they can still break. So I knew that going in, but I love the color so much. So I just have to be very gentle with my application, but I love that you can get brow like hair strokes just with the pencil and I don't actually have to go in with my brow pen because that's how I get the strokes in my brows. But this actually gives me that because it is so small. So I do like it. I just have to be very mindful of it. A Huda Beauty product that I didn't care for, I don't have on hand, I actually already returned it unfortunately. And I know a lot of people are loving this, but there's some people who are <laughs> like me, just didn't care for it as much. It is the Easy Bake Press Powder and it does have a natural finish. I felt it was too illuminating and looked unflattering on my skin, so that's why I returned it. And also, it's said to have more coverage than the loose powder. I had the exact opposite experience for whatever reason. I felt it was very, very sheer. So I just personally didn't care for the formula. I didn't think it was horrible. It just wasn't my favorite for my skin, and yeah, it's one of those things that some people are really loving it, but I did purchase it, already returned it, so I'm just including that in this video, not even updating, because I used it in a trying new makeup. I just didn't care for it, so it's not here anymore. <laughs> it wasn't what I was expecting. It didn't match the claims, in my opinion. I just found it radiant and sheer. And then Rare Beauty had one day on October 10th where they were donating 100% of proceeds 
to their Rare Beauty Impact Fund and Sephora was on board with this and donated all proceeds, which is so incredible. So I did shop on that day. I showed you guys on my community tab what I would be picking up and I picked all four of those products up on that day and I'm wearing a lip combo today from Rare Beauty and I am obsessed with this lip combo. Okay, we're gonna start there. For the lip pencil, it is the Kind Words Crayon in the shade Wise. And this is a brown tone, which I thought was really pretty and I thought would pair nicely with the lipstick. It is one of those pencils that all you have to do is twist it up, which thankfully I found out prior because I've been known to sharpen these sort of pencils. So yeah, I looked it up first this time around. And I love the color of that. That's what I'm wearing on the lips. These wear really well too. Pencil's really creamy. I find it easy to use. And the lipstick is so pretty as well. It's the Kind Words Lipstick in Humble. I love the names of All Rare Beauty. It just feels good to use their brand. And of course, for them to donate 100% of proceeds on that day, I haven't even looked up how much they did that day, but they said a minimum was a million dollars. So curious to see how much they donated for that day, but this is what the lipstick looks like. I love the packaging. Just pop it from the bottom and the color is really pretty. I'm actually curious to check out some more shades in this, but look at that pink. It is like bright and vibrant, like the perfect kind of pop of pink. And I think it pairs so beautifully with the brown lip liner. I'm actually curious to go back and get the matching lip liner for this, maybe during the sale this time, cause I didn't think to pick up more. I just picked up four things for that day, but definitely I'd be curious to check out more from the lip liners and the lipstick. I actually really like the lip liner more, I think. I think the wear is there better. The lipstick may be slightly dry at points, but I think has that smooth finish. And I do have to reapply it a little bit, but I love the color so much. I'm very happy with both purchases. And then I've been hearing so much about these, but the one color that I did want was out of stock, but I decided to pick up another color just to try out the formula. And it's the Stay Vulnerable Liquid Eyeshadow, and I have the Nearly Mauve shade. I've been looking for a liquid eyeshadow that can replace my Too Faced ones because those were my favorite formula for liquid eyeshadow. And I thought this color was really pretty, different from what I would do. The one that was out of stock was like a brown tone. And you know what? I think it was meant to be, to try something different, but I hear these do dry down fast, but you can do a monochromatic look with this. Like just these tones right here, like how pretty of a look would that be? Using that blended out on the eye, just as a one and done sort of eyeshadow shade. So I do plan on using that soon and will report back in my update video on that. And then I did pick up another shade in the Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick and this is in the shade Happy Soul. And I have Full of Life and Power Boost are the names of the other ones that I have. I had to think for a second. This is the one that I've been wanting. I think it's gonna be perfect tone for my skin tone, already can tell. Already love this even more. <laughs> so I cannot wait to try a new color in this. I love the formula of this. This is a top cream bronzer to me. I think so many people would absolutely love this. So I knew it was back in stock add to cart, good cause, I'm sold. <laughs> so very happy with all those and cannot wait to test out the things that I have not tried, but most of in this haul I have tried. And then I do have a few samples that I wanted to share with you. These two are so cute. I have a little mini sample of La Mer. When they have La Mer, I always <laughs> make a purchase because I actually really love their cream. I think it's really good. I know people say this is overpriced, but what it does to my skin, I just always have to have this on hand and I never have to purchase it because <laughs> I always get little samples of it. A little goes a long way with La Mer and then this little cute sample, I've had this before, of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. How adorable is it? Just wait till you see little mini compact. I need to do a full face of mini makeup. <laughs> it make me laugh. So I got the shade Fair. I use this one underneath my eyes. I used it today. I like that brightness underneath my eyes. If I'm more tan, I do use two, but I think one works really nicely most of the time for underneath my eye. And how cute is that little compact? <laughs> I actually need a refill of my Fair powder. So that's why I went with the Fair, even though I use two up probably more. And then this I haven't even used. It is the Grown Alchemist Gentle Gel Facial Cleanser. 
I just threw that in as a sample. I felt like they were lacking slightly this month for what they had. Please don't get sick. Please don't get sick. Please don't get sick. So that is everything for my Sephora haul that I wanted to get up before my Sephora sale haul because that will be a really good video as well. And of course, I plan on doing my Sephora sale recommendations and that will be coming up after we have you know, that Sephora week that we all get excited for, for the sale, at least I do. I love a good Sephora sale. And also, good luck if you're entering the giveaway in this video. I hope you enjoy the little hourglass palette and I just wanted to share the love with you guys because I love you so, so much. So thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, for spending some time with me today. If you're not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to the channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell to be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next video, which should be my Sephora sale recommendations.